Hi, welcome to my tutorial. This video will focus on various methods of calculating an unbiased estimate of variance called the sample variance in statistics. Use the working formula and the conventional formula to calculate the variance of these numbers. This is the working formula used in calculating the sample variance in statistics, while this formula is the conventional method of calculating sample variance. We'll start with the working formula. Let's arrange this data in ascending order. The least value here we have 2, followed by 4, followed by dex. Next is 7, we have 8, lastly 9. Looking at working methods, we have summation s square. It implies we are expected to create a column for s square. Start to fill up this column. 2 square gives 4, 4 square, 6 square, 7 square, 8 square. Lastly, 9 square 81. Looking at our formula, we have summation s square, meaning we are expected to add up all these values 4 plus 16 plus this plus this plus this plus this gives 250. Now we have summation x, meaning we'll sum up all these values 2 plus 4 plus this plus this plus this plus this gives this value. Looking at our formula, we have the square of summation x. So we're expected to get the square of this value. So the square of this value gives 1, 2, 9, 6. We also have n. n simply implies the sample size. We could get that by count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We also have n minus 1. We did say that n value is 6. So n minus 1 will be 6 minus 1, and that gives 5. Now let's substitute all these values into our working method. Summation x square minus summation x all square. Divide by n, and our n value is 6, all over n minus 1. We have 250 minus 1, 2, 9, 6, divide by 6, all over 5. 250 minus 216 divide by 5. So 34 divided by 5 gives 6.8. So the value of this sample variance using the working formula is 6.8. Now let's proceed to using the conventional method. Before then, if you are getting value from this video, please do wait to like, leave a comment, and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. Looking at the conventional method, we could see summation x minus x min r square all over n minus 1. We'll start by creating a table. And these are a range of values. We have x minus x min. We are expected to create a column for x minus x min. Going back to our formula, we could see x minus x min r square. So we are expected to create a column for x minus x min square. Let's get the mean of this sample. Mean is represented with this symbol. Formula for calculating the mean of this sample is summation x. Remember our summation x value is 36 divided by n. n value is 6. So our mean is 36 divided by 6 which gives 6. Now let's proceed to x minus x min column x value is each of these values so 2 minus our mean value being 6 minus 4 next is 4 minus our mean value 6 minus 6 7 minus 6 8 minus 6 lastly 9 minus 6 let's proceed to s minus s min square column we're expected to square each of these values here the square of minus 4, 16, minus 2 square, 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, lastly 3 square, 9. And looking at our formula, we'll see summation x minus x min square, meaning we're expected to sum up all these values here. 16 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 gives 34. Also, looking at our formula, we could see n minus 1. And our m minus 1 value, we have 5. Let's substitute these values into our formula. 
summation x minus s mean square we have 34 divide by m minus 1 so 34 divide by 5 6.8 so we could see that the working method and the conventional method gave the same value of variance which is 6.8 i hope this video is helpful please if you got value from this video kindly hit the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell remember your comment is important to us and don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.